Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Nation. Now today, I'm going to be giving my thoughts on that new manga chapter for Fukatsu no F. And I'm not going to be, you know, describing the whole thing to you guys and telling you what it is. There are spoilers in it. So if you haven't checked it out and you don't want to know anything, click off this video. But if you haven't seen it and you want to check it out, I left, well, I should be leaving a link to Ryan Styles' video where he explained the whole thing. Uh, so go check that out if you haven't seen it. But anyways, let's get right into this, guys. So my thoughts are uh, mixed, mostly positive, and the reason I say it is the whole part about hell being made canon. I really enjoyed that. Uh, I really love the, the depiction of hell from the manga, and uh, I mean, as far as it, as far as the hell we see in this manga chapter, as you know, compares to the hell we see in the filler from Dragon Ball Z, it's definitely completely different. The one we saw in the filler was uh, kind of happy-go-lucky in a way. Uh, you know, there wasn't really any torture or evil going on there necessarily. It was mostly about working, and there were actually some hiking trips being done. It really didn't seem like a bad place. It seemed even better than someone's job at times, if you if that makes sense. But, I mean, as far as the other parts of the manga, Frieza being in some sort of Majin Buu-looking cocoon, uh, I really enjoyed the, uh, the whole way that Frieza is being reborn. It's not simple like he's just being revived, that you can't just revive him. Which I really enjoyed that aspect. I enjoyed the, the part where he, you know, basically gathered the pieces of Frieza and, you know, put them in a rejuvenation chamber. And we finally know that that's a rejuvenation chamber that Frieza was in, in that film, uh, Fukatsu no F, the, the green liquid. Some of you guys were saying in the comment sections that that was a uh, rejuvenation chamber. That's what you thought. I think I may have mentioned that I thought it might have been. I can't confirm that. I don't exactly remember, so don't harp on me if I uh, didn't say that. But you guys were saying in the comment section, so I give you props for that. Uh, it's definitely a nice eye you have there. But um, the problem I had, not necessarily a problem, I think it's really cool still. When, you know, Frieza's henchman was saying to uh, Frieza that Goku, don't fight Goku, that Goku had gotten a lot stronger, and he was even stronger than Majin Buu. And, uh, you know, that was cool that, that Frieza knew about Majin Buu, actually. That was interesting. The part that I didn't understand is that Frieza, you know, said that he was a prodigy and that he needs four months to train and he will, you know, basically defeat them in a blink of an eye. And, you know, that's really cool that Frieza can get to that level. But it doesn't make sense if it only takes four months why Frieza would never have trained before in his life. Now, I know Frieza's personality isn't exactly for training, guys, but... I feel like if he knew that there was, I guess he never, you know, there was never a chance that anyone was stronger. But if he met or knew of Majin Buu, you would think he would want to be stronger than that uh, Majin Buu. I would imagine. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Um, but that really is all the main things that happened in the manga. Maybe I forgot something, guys. It's early right now. Um, but that really has been it, guys. I'm going to give you guys a little spoiler for, you know, tuning in on this video because it's kind of short and... I've, I'm not. I haven't been inactive, but I haven't put up a video in a few days, and I like to, I like to put up a video every other day for you guys. I don't guarantee it, but I like to do that. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna have a discussion. Well, it's tomorrow if you're watching this today. If you're watching any other day, then I guess it's already up. Anyways, tomorrow I have a discussion going up on uh, what I want from a new Dragon Ball Z series, and if I think we're gonna get one. It's kind of short. It's like almost seven minutes. Uh, so I apologize for the short length, but I have what ifs coming in the future. There'll be tons and tons of Xenoverse stuff. I just been really get busy, guys. So I apologize for the short length of videos. I don't like to give you guys, you know, short videos, even though the quality is not amazing on them. But I like to give you guys good long discussions that, you know, pique your thought process and interest. So that has been it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.